I'm uh, Stan Mayer. I'm the general manager here at uh, AAR Oklahoma City. Well, the AAR MRO, you know, does aircraft maintenance overhaul, you know, help get the airplanes in and out and deliver. My name is Demario Cooper and I'm a sheet metal mechanic for AAR. Growing up, you know, I've been working with my hands, you know, working on cars with my uncles and, you know, stepfathers. So once I graduated high school, you know, I started working in a warehouse job and then I was just kind of thinking like, you know, I kind of won't, this isn't necessarily going to be a career job for me. Um, I was cho choosing between either the auto mechanic or the sheet metal. I decided to go with the sheet metal because it was something different, something totally new. I was working a full-time job and going to school at Francis Tuttle full-time, and it was the best decision I've ever made. At Francis Tuttle, you kind of learn the basics and the fundamentals as far as the type of tools you use and how to remove and install a variety of fasteners. But then once you actually get on the job, you know, it's different when you're actually working on the plane. Um, you definitely learn something new every day. It's definitely improved my quality of life. I'm Haley Greeno, and I am an A&P lead at AAR. Tech school, it was fast paced, it was to the point. You kind of got the basics of, you know, your physics, uh, math, it was a fast pace, but you learned as much as you did for years of schooling. And then just the very basics of what we do. So you got out here and you're kind of prepared for what you did on a heavy maintenance atmosphere. Um, the very basics of it, the groundwork to where you kind of felt confident in what you're doing and then you got to learn your aircraft. It actually sounds pretty cool when people ask you, what do you do for a living? And I'm an aircraft mechanic, I work on airplanes. I would recommend, you know, high schoolers, dropouts, GEDs, you know, uh, if you kind of don't really know what direction you want to go or what path in life to succeed, you're definitely going to have to get a trade. You know, why not get it in the industry that's booming and advancing, you know, the aviation industry. I mean, you never know what you'll fall in love with and what you'll like doing and develop a passion for unless you try it. I think that's something that got lost in the uh, schools over the last 15 years is there's people out there that want to use their hands and get to work. So I just think it's another option for people who want to get right out there and make a living.